Hi, Michelle. Uh, something weird happened this week, and it has to do with you, so I made this video about it. Um, a little while ago, me and Liz uh, bought these fish. Alright, this is Uncle Fred. Uh, he lives alone in the tank now, but uh, he used to share it with another fish we got called Sir Winston. Uh, so Winston and Uncle Fred were, you know, they were great friends. They, uh, they had no other fish to play with, so they would hang with each other and swim together and stuff. Uh, I mean, they were never apart. Uh, in fact, the only time Uncle Fred and Sir Winston were apart was when Uncle Fred would swim into this, like, little rock cave Liz put at the bottom of the tank. Uh, Uncle Fred loved that cave. I mean, he spent so much time in there that, like, sometimes we'd even wonder if he was alive or dead. I mean, we wouldn't see him for, like, hours. He'd just sit in this cave all day long. All right, he loved it. Anyways, uh, about four weeks after we bought him, Sir Winston started acting a little weird. Uh, he was very still a lot of the time, and he rarely swam with Uncle Fred anymore. And then one morning, we noticed that Sir Winston was sort of floating lifelessly near the bottom of the tank. He wasn't dead, though. He was just sort of twitching, like convulsing before he took his last breath. I mean, we knew he was going to die, but what's weird is that in his last moments, uh, he managed to twitch himself in Uncle Fred's cave. I mean, that's what's so weird. This was a fish that rarely went into this cave, you know, and he chose to die there. The death of Sir Winston hit Uncle Fred pretty hard. I mean, his mood visibly became less upbeat, and he spent a lot of time not moving or swimming, and he completely stopped going into the cave. And I mean, that's the most important part right, of the story. I mean, he completely stopped going into the cave. I mean, this is a place he loved, you know, and he just refused to go in there. I think by now you probably know where I'm going with this. 